we're now going to look at some basic applications of De Moivre's theorem. We've shown in the last two videos that cos theta plus I sine theta to the power of n is equal to cos n theta plus I sine n theta. In this question, we're asked to use De Moivre's theorem to simplify each of the following. For me, simplifying these will uh, ideally be putting them in the form x plus i y, so in Cartesian form. So we can plot these on an argon diagram in this form. So let's have a look at the first one. This one's fairly straightforward. If we just match this up, all we're doing, if we've got the power of 6 here, we can simply write this as cos of 6 theta plus i sine 6 theta. That's nice and straightforward. This one right here, we've got cos 3 theta plus i sine 3 theta to the power of 4. Well, that's going to simply give us cos of 12 theta plus i sine of 12 theta. So again, nice and straightforward. The next one, uh, what have we got here? Cos of pi by 6 plus i sine of pi by 6 to the power of 5. We can actually write this now as cos of 5 pi by 6 plus i sine of 5 pi by 6 by simply employing the idea that cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of n is cos n theta plus i sine n theta. So this is now in polar form. We've got now an argument between negative and positive pi, so we could in fact put this in the form x plus i y. Cos of uh, 5 pi by 6 is negative root 3 over 2, and then the sine of uh, 5 pi by 6 is going to be 1 half. So if we wanted to write this in Cartesian form, fully simplified, negative root 3 plus 1 half i. Let's look at this one. Firstly, we want to use De Moivre's theorem, so I'm going to rewrite this as cos of negative pi by 10 plus i sine of negative pi by 10. This is a form of De Moivre's. We need it cos theta plus i sine theta, and all of this is to the power of 15. So we could write this now as cos of negative 15 pi by 10 plus i sine of negative 15 pi by 10. That's using our uh, theory just here of um, simply uh, cos theta plus i sine theta to the n is cos n theta plus i sine theta, uh, i sine n theta. So let's just tidy this up. Firstly, we can write this now as cos, and simplifying this, it's going to be negative, and we're going to have 3 pi by 2 plus i sine of negative 3 pi by 2. And what we want to do, we want to work in the interval from negative to positive pi. So instead of using this, what I can do now is rewrite this as cos of pi by 2 and bring it back into that interval. So our principal argument, we could state on this one, we could write it like so, where that principal argument is between negative and positive pi. The cosine of pi by 2 is naught. The sine of pi by 2 is going to be 1, so all we're going to be left with now is i. That's our answer. It's just simply i. By using De Moivre's theorem and rewriting this with an argument, um, a principal argument between negative and positive pi, we can write it as cos pi by 2 plus i sine of pi by 2. Um, and of course that dropped out to give us i. Um, let's have a look at another one. This one, okay, so let's look at this one right here. We can write this now as cos of 5 theta. And there are a couple of different ways that you can view this one. I'm going to show you a couple of different uh, approaches on these. Plus i sine of 5 theta. And then what we'll do is write that over. And we're going to just write this using De Moivre's theorem. This can be written as cos 4 theta plus i sine 4 theta. So cos 4 theta plus i sine 4 theta. Now, we know if we're dividing complex numbers, we divide the moduli and subtract the argument. So this is just going to be 5 theta minus 4 theta, which is going to give us cos theta plus i sine theta. So fairly straightforward, um, nothing too crazy. Exactly the same with this one. With this one, you, you can take a couple of different approaches, and I'll look at it in two different ways. We could first write this as cos of 2 theta plus i sine of 2 theta to the power of negative 3. Using De Moivre's theorem, we know we can use it for a negative integer. We can write this now as cos of negative 6 theta plus i sine of negative 6 theta. 
that's one particular approach that's available for you. Um, this one, we'll go at this one, and I'll look at a slightly different approach with this one. Firstly, let's read uh, right at the top. We've got cos 5 theta plus I sine 5 theta, and I'm going to rewrite the bottom. And what we've got here is cos of negative, remember we've got the negative here, so using our odd and even functions, cos of negative 3 theta plus I sine of negative 3 theta, all to the power of 2. So we could, of course, write this as cos, and then we can have 5 theta plus I sine of 5 theta all over. And we could go for this approach again, bringing it up here like I did before, or we could simply say that that's going to be cos of negative 6 theta plus I sine of negative 6 theta. And we know if we are dividing, we subtract the arguments. So 5 minus minus 6 gives us cos of 11 theta plus I sine of 11 theta. As stated, you can look at that one a couple of different ways. So you could make this power now um, a, positive, uh, a negative index up here and simply multiply. So loads of different ways of looking at that. Entirely up to you. But this, these are some basic applications. We'll go on to look at some of the more advanced stuff and move on from there.